Hey guys, I hope you're all doing great today. In today's video, I will be trying a few almost all drugstore products. And I just have like this KVD2 a little bit expensive products that I'm going to try on. These are KVD brands. I never tried any of KVD products before, so this will be my first time. I'll try some Rimmel products, Catrice, One Revlon, and I have this primer from Smashbox. I got this last last month. So yeah, that's pretty all that I have. So let's start with the video. I'm going to try this Smashbox Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. This is 7.1 ml. Yep. And it's very small. Obviously, it's clear and ooh, it's like some kind of like a bum ooh it has a mattifying or blurring effect that I can feel feels very smooth on the skin I can see that it mattifies my skin and it gives like some blurring effect next I'm going to try this Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Hydration Boost this is with SPF 20 and the foundation looks like this and this is in the shade of True Beige 203. I'm a little bit scared that this foundation will be again too light for me and it's in a pump. Let's see. Oh, Again, I think this is another light foundation. Ooh. This is not my foundation but I think this is a little bit darker than it smells there's a scent but it smells okay I'm going to use a dumb sponge on this side and let's this is one is all right so that's the foundation how that's how my foundation looks like on my skin I would say that it's a medium coverage and I'm going to use brush on the other side of my face and I'm going to put here a little bit but I would say that it's good that it doesn't smell weird like the foundation I tried last time from the other brand. I have more coverage with the, the sponge than the brush or maybe I put lesser products here. And let's try if I can have like full coverage. You can still see my freckles and imperfections on this side. So I'm going to put more. Um going to just like tap it on my skin. Yep, it looks like this now. It has a medium to it has a medium to full coverage. It depends on how much products you are going to apply on your skin. But let's like leave it there I still have like freckles visible so that's how my face looks like so I will use um, the sponge I used earlier to press the foundation to my skin it actually has a nice coverage it has like a matte finish I still I like this kind of foundation and I'm happy that it's not very light to my skin. So, so let's proceed with this Catrice in a box me eyeshadow palette. So there is no name at the back. So there is like um this is with with rose oil. This is like with black with shimmer, something like kind of blue, brown, beige, and then like some kind of pink. I think these are very wearable shade. So I will use this color as my transition. And I did not put any primer, 
but let's just like oh it's a little bit of powdery it's very powdery I'm going to swatch so you will see I'm going to swatch this color and it looks like this and yep you can see the pigment and I'm going to swatch these two colors here and the shade looks like this and yep. the shimmer is not very pigmented but let's see how it looks on the eyes later I'm going to use this brown on my crease part it's not very pigmented but there is a pigment so the color looks like this let's use another brush so let's use another brush I'm going to use this dark color here and let's put more on this part and it looks it's like it's not very dark some kind of like bluish or grayish dark color next I think I'm going to use this blue shimmer here let's use my finger first Okay, it looks like this. I need some more color. So yeah, that's not bad. It's a little bit of chalky. So I will use this flat brush and then I'm going to spray it so the color with pop. The, this here. Yeah. I think I need to put more of the spray. Oh, the shimmer is going out. I don't know why. That's how the shimmer looks like. It. It's not doing the work. I'm not so I'll use the finger the actually the shadow is already wet so the finger works better I already put too much of products on my eyelid as you can see it doesn't look so smooth like I put too much product So yeah, I'm not liking this eyeshadow so far. I'm going to apply more of this dark shade here on my eyelid. And I'm going to put the brown color here. Like uh, I'm going to blend it all over. It's very, it's actually very powdery. And then I will apply on my lower lid. And I think I need some clean brush to clean up. So 
show you that's how my eyeshadow looks like right now hmm I'm not really liking this kind of eye makeup I'm going to put some concealer to clean this mess here so I will use this like champagne or pinkish color on my inner eye yeah, looks like it looks like that it's not very pigmented I can see something but not too much so I'm going to fix the other eye and I will be back so I fix my eyeshadow and it looks like this it's a little bit mess and it's hard to like just like fix it really don't like this eyeshadow this is really hard to work with but the colors are actually nice so yeah, I have problem with the shimmer so let's proceed with this Revlon Insta Blush. This is in the shade of Berry Kiss 3 to 0. So this is the blush and it looks like this. I don't know how to use this kind of blush on the stick, but I will use brush and then try to Okay, I cannot see any pigment. Let's try to... What's this? Ooh. The stick is carrying and removing my foundation. There's some problem with the brush and looks so I'll just tap it on my face. This is a bit weird. But there's already a pigment on this part of my cheek. It's actually a nice color, like some kind of pinkish and reddish. So yeah, as you can see, I don't have any foundation on this part because I like do it like this I swap the brush yeah it looks like that and I'm going to apply more on this this is how it to apply it's actually a nice color I'm going to use this Elizabeth Arden um, bronzer that I used on my last video if you saw it I actually like the color of the blush on I think it looks it will work better if you will just don't have foundation like no makeup makeup look so that's after bronzer let's next let's use this new Rimmel Stay Matte Powder this is in um, this is number one translucent powder. It looks like this. And there's like some kind of pigment. I'm going to, going to use this brush to apply this here. Okay. Mm. So yeah, it looks like that. Just tap it here on some part of my face. So. And I'm going to use some um, this big brush to just like remove the excess product. But I don't have so much blush on after using that brush. I'm going to use the red part of this this brush and so next let's use some epic girl lash primer this is from kvd 
Beauty. KVD Beauty. This is looks like this. And let's see how it looks like. Okay, it likes there's some pigment, like some kind of bluish grayish color. But let's see. So I did not like curl my lashes. And that's with the primer and then with no primer. And then I'm going to use this Total Temptation Waterproof Mascara. I made a review about this mascara. If you want to see, this is a waterproof mascara. And then I'm going to apply. This is a volumizing mascara. But it's actually like hard to remove. Compared to my other waterproof mascara. Lashes. Looks like this. I'm going to apply a second coat. That's how my lashes looks like. It looks very nice. I can see some volume. I don't know if it's from the mascara or from the primer. Let's, let's proceed with the lipsticks. This is another KVD Got One B Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade of Hulk Wind. This is like some kind of nude, uh, nude or brownish color when i ordered it and it looks like this this is i think is one of their like popular product it's actually like um long lips this is 6.6 ml so we have like a lot of products so i don't have any like lip liner or i did not even put like lip balm or anything so it looks like this this is the liquid lipstick and yeah this is like a brown shade. So this is the shade of the lipstick. It's like, it's nice. It's matte and it's really easy to apply. And it glides on the lips nicely and smoothly. So now let's proceed with the fixing spray that I use earlier for my eyeshadow. that smells this is bronze away to fiji hydration fixing spray and i have the 50 ml of this so yep we're done with the makeup look guys so let's proceed with my opinion about all the makeup products i use today first is this smashbox primer it's very nice it has a blurring and smoothing effect when you apply the when I apply the primer with this, um, what do you call this? With this foundation, Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation. And I'm happy I got the not too light foundation. It's still like a little bit of lighter to my skin, but it's better than the um, foundation I tried before that was like very light for my skin. And I like that it's like it's a little bit of matte and light to medium coverage or you can say like like or you can like build it up until to full coverage if you want if you are more on full coverage foundation it's still good so as you can see i have like a nice foundation it looks so smooth on the skin next is this KVD Lash Primer. It's nice. It separates my lashes when I apply it. And there's like a pigment so you can use it alone and build it to have like a nice lash mascara or lashes. So next let's proceed with the Catrice A5 in a box mini eyeshadow palette. I actually did not like it. Um, the matte is very powdery just be careful if you are going to use it it did not work when i use my catrice 
primer, I mean this Catrice fixing spray. It works better if you will just use your finger to apply on your eyelid. So yeah, I did not like it that much. I used, the, I used all the shades here, these five shades. So next, the Revlon Insta Blush in the shade of 320 Berry Kiss. It, the color is actually pretty nice, but I think um, there's some problem with the formula. I think it's already dry. I don't know why. And because when I apply it, it removes some of my foundation that was on this part. But the color is very pretty and it's hard. It took me so much work to get some product for on this brush. So I can apply more and have some color on my cheek. So next, the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder. This is lightweight mattifying and lasting up to nine hours this is in the shade of number one translucent it's very nice it doesn't emphasize my pores around when i apply it and yeah it's translucent but there's like a little bit of pigment from this powder but it's still a good powder next let's proceed with this cut von d kvd um Liquid lipstick. This is in the shade of the Hulk Wind. It's very nice. It's a little bit like some kind of oil and it's very like when you apply it, it's very, it has like a thin formula. Matte, lightweight. It's very nice. The color I got, um, a nice color on my lips. You don't need, um, lip liner for this kind of lipstick. Yeah, if you like some kind of matte lipstick and not sticky doesn't have like a thick formula this is a good lipstick and I actually some of the products I use that I already had before is I use this for my bronzer and I also use it for my blush because when I apply the powder I remove some color on my cheek and then I use this for my eyeliner and I also use this Elizabeth Arden brow gel and I also use the Maybelline the Total Temptation Mascara as for my mascara. Yeah, for my lashes today. So yeah, that's it. So that's all that I got. I'm happy with my makeup look. But it's already dark here. And for me to fix the light so you will see how it looks like. And... Sorry, this is the lowest light that I can do. So yeah, this is my finished look for today. I actually like it, like blue and smoky eyeshadow. And I love my lipstick. So yeah, that's all for today. I'm actually happy with most of the products I use for today. But let me also know if you've tried any of these products, like the eyeshadow and then the blush on. And I want to know your experience about it. So thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.